What's going on YouTube? Burlington Northern HO fan here. And today, as you can see, this is a little bit of a different start for the beginning of the video, but we're going to be working on our layout today. We're going to be working on this, our two switches that we bought. But in order to do that, we need to clean this off. So I'm going to, and just like that, we have a clean section of the layout. So. First thing we need to do is get rid of this piece of flex track right here. So give me, we should be able to just pull it off just like that. And there we go. We've gotten rid of our piece of flex track and we're going to put our switch, our first switch I should say, over here in this corner. So we want our number four left hand turnout from Walther's. So I'm going to open that up real quick. All right, sorry about that. If you guys remember, in the beginning of the year, I said I wanted to have a grain silo or a grain elevator on the layout because I'm obsessed with the grain cars. And this is where the siding is gonna be for that grain elevator. So we need to open up our, our switch here. All right, here we have our new number four Walther's Code 100 turnout, left hand. We have our clicking action, which is really good. We have the stuff down here that's going good. These turnouts also come with the ability to set up a frog juicer, which is really nice, which I don't know if I'm gonna do yet on this layout, because. It's, it'll be a later date after the layout's complete, I think, but not the layout being complete, but you, you know understand what I'm talking about. But first thing we need to do with these turnouts is we need to cut off the end ties here so we can connect our track to them. All right, now we've got the end ties cut off. We can now add it to our section of the layout. We only need a rail jumper. So I've got a couple in this little cup here. Let me grab one. So there's already a rail jumper on that section of track. So all we need it to be is on this section. Just make sure we get it on the rail. Just like that, there we go. And now we can add that piece to our rail itself and there we go now you can already see that we're gonna have to change our setup for our road bed which is fine so that's why I never glued it down in the first place okay Like that though, that looks pretty good. Now we need to work on the section of track here that we have missing, which is gonna mean that we're gonna need to cut this piece of flex track a little shorter. You don't have to use flex track, but that's what I have here. And I'm gonna cut this flex track a little shorter instead of just cutting down a bunch of straights, so. And I have a couple more pieces of flex track hiding over there. So we're going to use this piece right here. I just got to find my rail cutters. I'll be right back. All right, found my cutters. So in order to do what we need to do, we're going to attach. I found also, a, I grabbed another smaller section of flex track, so I'm not wasting so much flex track. I'm going to attach the two to the track, or I should say something like that. And then I'm going to rudimentary, just kind of cut where it needs to be cut. So I can see right there. I'm just gonna use a Sharpie for this because I can use isopropyl alcohol to take it off the track when I'm done. I'm just going to 
roughly line up where it needs to go. Right about there is where I need to cut it. So we'll grab our cut cutters and we'll nip that off real quick. All right, track is cut, it's installed. Right here I have one of my lightest cars. We're gonna roll it over. And as you can see, it has no issue. Perfect. So, with that, now we can move on to the spur line that goes out. And with that, I'm hoping I have some 18 or some 22s, but if I have to use 18s, I'll use 18s. But we're going to make a little spur line over here, and that's where our grain silo is going to be. So let me get the track for it. All right, so here's the idea right now of the setup that I'm going to go for to get this all to work the way I want it. I cut it here. I make the turn here with these 18 inch radius turns. Should be a little bit of straight here. And then the silo should fit. So that's the plan. Let me get the silo and then uh, and we're gonna go for a co-op, uh, a grain co-op, not a elevator. Because it'll work better for what I'm going for. Since this will be a small town, a co-op makes more sense than an elevator. So that's what we're gonna do. That's the plan. All right, well, we've got the track set up. Now we do the same thing we did before. We just gotta get it cut. So we're gonna mark our track right there, right there. We're gonna take our flex track and we're gonna go cut it. All right, our section of track is cut. Now we just have to put it in to our layout here. that rail joiner on and put that on a little too far back so we can just push the rail back and then we just connect it to the switch push that rail into where we want it and then we get some rail joiners for this section right here I'm gonna go around and we're gonna just dump these out here and what I'm actually probably gonna do is I'm going to use this style I'm not... and then I'm going to take this one our other section of flex track that we cut will work perfectly for the straightaway there so if we just kind of come in here you know what, I'm okay with this being at an angle as well, because it's more realistic. They're not going to make a complete, tight, perfect turn. All right, and with that, we have our section of track. Now, those curves are 18-inch curves, and the straights are flex track, obviously. Now, that should be enough straight to have a co-op in that corner. That should work perfectly for what we need. What we need now is we need to run a train on it and see if that train will uh, have any issues with it. I'm gonna send this train down the line. Looks pretty good. It looks like it has like it Looks like it doesn't really have too much issue. Let's get ourselves some grain cars and we'll push the grain cars down there. See if the grain cars have any issue. All right, pull that section out of there. All right, let's push these grain cars into where they need to go. So far so good. Looking pretty good. Pretty nice. Now let's use a six axle locomotive and uh, see if that changes anything real quick. Let's 
try this guy out. not what I wanted to do, but at least it's handling the curves okay. I think we're going to be alright with the curve, to be honest. So, now we need to do roadbed, which, get me one second. Alright, so now we need to do the roadbed. Right here, I have some sections of foam roadbed. But, the first thing we need to do is fix this part right here. So we're gonna just lay those off to the side and I'm gonna move you. All right, so now those are off to the side and what we're gonna do here with the road bed is I'm actually gonna disconnect that and disconnect this. And what we need to do is actually cut down the center line of this piece right here center line right here as you can see I have the center line here on this piece of foam that we're gonna cut so I'm gonna grab my knife or a razor blade a razor blade will do just fine so cut down the center line just like so very rough cutting down the center line really matter too much because they're both gonna go back together and you just kind of pull them apart or glue stick to our machine I'm just gonna make sure that that is in there the way it's supposed to be so and now this should be all tight and good Put our switch back, our turnout back in. I gotta get out of the habit of calling it a switch because it's not a switch technically. It is technically considered a turnout. There we go. Now, I'm just gonna use the same method for the track. I'm just gonna put a little bit of glue here. Not a lot, just a little, you don't need a lot. And you're just gonna hold the track in place. And the same thing will go for the turnout. Easily and nicely, making sure not to get glue on the points of the switch that move. Just to hold it. Hold it in place. Again, if we don't like the way it's lined up, we can always, like see here, the rail joiner is not where it's supposed to be. So oh, we'll put that, flip that up. Perfect, perfect observation of why we use the hot glue. Or why I use hot glue, I should say. Get that. Put your finger over the rails, make sure they're all good. Get any pieces of hot glue that are connected to your track. Make sure your turnout still works. Perfect. All right, and now we'll do the curve. Okay, so the easiest way to start with the curve is we're just going to take our foam here. We're gonna 
put it in this spot. Boom. Like that. Okay. And then we're gonna mark on the foam where we need to cut it so we can split it for the turn. Just like that. So now we know where we need to cut it for the turn. So now, I'm gonna move you guys in over here. I'm gonna take my razor blade over there. So, you can even probably do this without even really hurting any section of the, just like that. Oh, perfect. We'll just put our track back in the rail joiners. Okay. Make sure it's all lined up the way we want it. Now, over here, you probably see that there is a little bit sticking up. I can fix that real quick. But right now, I'm focused on making this curve. that up and we're gonna do the same thing we're gonna take our foam follow our line our center line down the middle I'm just gonna peel these two pieces of foam apart just like that now we need our, our uh, pins, which I should have brought with me. Here we have our pins. And we're just going to kind of slide this in at the start here. Pin it up at the start. I'm even going to pin the uh, straight part there just to kind of help me out a little bit. Pin this section. And we're going to kind of just Make our foam follow the curve. Something a little like that. Okay. section we're going to do the same thing we're going to slide that under pin it down and we're going to make it follow the curve piece of foam and we're going to do the same thing. Gonna cut it out. Following the center line. Just like that. We're going to just peel that apart. Same thing, we're gonna take it, we want to just make it a perfect, good looking corner here.
take our other piece. Take our blade and we're just gonna cut those two pieces off at the end. And there you go. There we have our roadbed ready to be glued for our track. So I'm gonna do that off camera real quick. Alright, and that is our siding done with the even if you guys remember way back on the channel I bought a couple of those and I even put one on of those one of those on the end which is pretty neat sorry about that my dog started the bark but let's do this real quick get a little another little locomotive we haven't seen in a while on the channel let's run a grain car in there and see how, how it works now with it being fully done I forgot to flip the switch. And there we go. Turn our bell off. So we have a working siding there. Now we just need the building. But with that though, that's going to be the end of this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care. Peace.